A shocking plot to target white individuals has just been uncovered, resulting in federal charges against a New Jersey man who allegedly planned a mass murder based on racial hatred. On December 2022, federal prosecutors claim Joshua Cobb wrote online about his intent to cause mayhem on the white community, highlighting his beliefs that white people will never understand his struggles as a black man. He expressed a desire to completely erase them. Targeting white individuals during a key holiday, Cobb mentioned he already got the firearms for the planned attack through a key contact. Cobb allegedly told investigators that he was going to either include a gym or a grocery store frequented by rich ass white people or simply an affluent white area. Cobb told investigators that the reason in which he is going to plan out these attacks is because of systematic racial injustices. This story is absolutely insane. This is one of these stories that get pushed under the rug because it's a black man targeting white individuals and the media doesn't care about that. If this was a white dude planning an attack on a black church or a black area, we would have his picture plastered everywhere. I can't find a picture of this guy. I can find news articles, but not one picture. Interesting. Or is it? The media and politicians constantly push and encourage racial tension in America. And DEI is at the forefront of that. Wanting to separate us so that those in power continue to stay in power. These people are obsessed with you pointing the finger at the other and saying, get away from me. You're not the same as me. You're other than. You're not even human. Can we put you in a camp for re-education? Can we do something with you? I just can't be in the same country as you. They love when you start talking like that. They f gain power when you continue to talk like that. The racial tension in America has continued to rise. And it's a problem. And if we don't start calling out these DEI principles or constantly pushing down this racial injustices where it's like every day a black man gets shot by cops, which is just like, we're just not, we're just lying. They're lying to play on your emotions so that you are overcome with anxiety daily. So you look to them for help. You're right. There's nothing I can do. I'm a racist. I can't stop it. Really? Are you a racist? Well, I might. So we're just going to go around believing that. What do you think the implications of that? This is the implications. We have a black man. Whether he's sane or not, and I'm not, I'm not trying to like give him credit like he's not completely schizophrenic or losing his mind um, completely. But he learned this somewhere. And they always talk about how the, po the podcasts are like these dangerous things. Instead of pointing the finger at themselves of, oh, maybe we could change. Maybe what we're doing isn't healthy. But that's exactly why they're doing it. For those of you that don't know, if the government can make you weaker and themselves stronger, they will do that. And using a political arm such as the media propaganda arm to push, on, push down those theories so that they continue to stay in power, they'll do it all day. Isn't it curious that some of the most poor politicians, the minute they get in the office, they become multimillionaires? Is that not curious to you at all? These people are obsessed with keeping us apart. These people are obsessed with racial tension because racism is such an easy thing to push because there are so many people that get so triggered and overwhelmed by just the idea of it. They can't have a logical conversation about racism in America it always comes down to an emotional approach. Based on my experience, this is what happens. What are your thoughts on racial tensions in America? Are we going to continue to see more stories like this? Whether white, black, Asian, whatever. Hispanic. Or will we become closer as a country over time? Because we realize 
that this is all bull crap and that I had no I, I had no way to change history 200 300 years ago I can only do with what I have in front of me now what are your thoughts on this love to hear from you put a comment below thanks so much